day everybody uh, this is uh, Stefan uh, and we're doing the get em garage uh, piston oil squirter uh, kit on the 6-0 iron block I had just finished uh, the other one another 6-0 uh, iron block uh, it's over behind the camera right now it's done uh, you'll see pictures at the end of it but we're over at uh, Chris Mackey's Camp Performance Motor Ford's shop in Manhattan um, and it's just a after work, late night uh, working um, on the blocks get these ready and done so they can go over to the machine shop but just going through that jig um, and I finally figured out with the bits how to not break them <laughs> that's not to say I didn't break six or seven out of twelve of them um, out of the twelve that I bought after breaking that first one uh, but fast and very slow until you know you're on a, a flat surface that that the angle is just too tight on that that main oiling groove with a, such a broad um, head on the drill bit um, it's just very unstable as you're hitting two sides with the other two sides that aren't um, touching the drill bit so until you actually get that bit down in there uh, onto uh, you know the bore and it's actually completely surrounding the bit you can't really put any pressure into it but I'm finishing the mains um, I'm pushing down from cylinder one through eight and then the second jig is seven through two which is um, so you pretty much you do one whole side one whole bank with one jig and then the other bank with the other and then the two end mains only get one squirter because uh, it comes back through and hits that that far second one on each end with the other jig um, and I just have the the bolts in and the jig down and uh, you tighten it down throw a little WD or PB blaster on the bit and let her rip I think at some point I did break a bit it was probably this main or the next um, and then I was able to finish it with that that next one after that I had completed probably three mains with that one right there and then I uh, uh, yep that's where I broke it and then I threw another one in I believe I was able to finish it up um, but once you break it, that, that tip you see there, you pull that jig back out. Make sure the tip's not laying in there in the, in the, in the groove getting drilled on. Um, that first block I did, I did. Don't, don't cheap out on your taps. Um, you'll see later when I'm tapping the mains for the squirters. Uh, don't cheap out on, on the taps. Get like a good stainless steel or tool steel one um, from Fastenal or something I had the best luck with didn't have any problem with those obviously but uh, the first one I actually broke a broke a tap in one of the mains and I just sunk it down in too far and I think it just it was one it was cheap and two I was trying to do a little too much with it um, so we're gonna get a tap extractor uh, get that pulled out hopefully I can save it if not um, I don't know I'll have to put a, a time cert in there or something You'll see later on uh, through the video how they go in there, um, and it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, it's definitely fixable. It just depends on what route we have to do to get that that tab out. Um, but working through it, it came out pretty good. Um, I'd say the hardest part is just having patience um, with the drill bits and getting it done um, when you when you actually finally get through the bore of the main that you're drilling out make sure you you follow that that drill bit all the way down like further into the cylinder to look for any other uh, webbing of the block because as the squirter comes down it might need a little extra boring done on a piece of webbing where the squirter hits because if you just punch through the hole and leave it at that you're gonna have to go back in there with a, a, a 
a grinder later on to take out some of the webbing so your squirter actually reaches down into the block further. Um, and that's something I noticed on the first one. Uh, and then I really started doing it a lot more on the second one because I didn't want to go back through and do any grinding. I just wanted to take what I needed out with the bit. So be cautious of that. Once you punch through the bore, push that drill bit all the way down in there and make sure it has a, a, a clear trajectory um, and it's not going to hit any other piece of the webbing. It's all right if it does. It just you need to take your time on drilling some of that out. the points and then the squirters uh, use a little WD-40 on the uh, the tap um, and uh, make sure you run it in and out a little bit when you run that tap down uh, I used my finger to gauge where the tap was as soon as you feel that tap start pushing through the the inside or on the other side of that that drilled hole pull that tap back out and that what that will allow is is your your squirter to go all the way down in the main be either under the like screwed in through the surface or just flush with the surface um you see me reaching there right and then feeling and then once I feel that tap I just back it out and that automatically gave me enough clearance for the squirter to go all the way down into the the, uh, the main so it wasn't protruding into that that oil the oil uh, valley of that um, and you'll see some better pictures here coming up I'm just uh, I'm just tapping this the last of these mains that's really all there is to it uh, drill all of them and then tap them and then uh, install your squirters I've heard you can I installed them without blue Loctite but you can install if you want to put some blue Loctite in there you'd be that's fine um, honestly once I installed the first one I, I don't think I'd ever need blue Loctite on them um, it's just not necessary I don't think uh, and this should be rounding up to the end Trim this up and uh, you'll see the rest of it. Here we go. A little squirt squirt. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <coughs> I like that. Looks good. And these are the last of the pictures it check it out um, it was a good little time some stuff we got to finish up but it's getting there